the cable, everything. So we're going to go in here and see what's going on. It might be just a bad line or I got to change the splitters and connectors. But we're going to see, man. Stay tuned. So now I'm at the apartments. This is like one of the, I would say maybe the one of the most difficult parts about the job. You got to find out where she lives. So I just called her and she's saying she lives in the front of the apartments, but on the other side. So I got to walk back to the van and uh, go around, basically. That's why you really can't trust GPS because half of the time it'd be wrong. You just, you know, give you a, tell you like a little description of where they at, but it don't even tell you where they are. So be back with you, man. And that's it, man. So all we did was change her splitters and connectors out. Look at that beehive. It's crazy. Glad I ain't have to. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm glad I ain't had to get up there. But all we did was change the lady connectors out, change her splitters. She was getting like 55 D DBMVs. And it says for the spec, it's supposed to be 51. So that's too high. So once we change everything out, got it down to like a 41. And she good, man. So that's pretty much it for this job. I'm finna pack up and going to the next one i'm probably gonna hit the gas station because i get off in a little bit so i'll catch y'all on the next one i'll probably hit y'all back when i get to the gas station man all right so we're back in the van i'm up at the gas station getting some gas you know just waiting for the next job hopefully they don't hit me up with nothing else because it's almost quitting time you feel me but yeah quick tip you're gonna be out here in the field man you're gonna get thirsty I mean, they give you water and stuff, but I always recommend getting you one of these. Now, this video is not sponsored by Bubba, you know, but hey, they, I wish they would be my sponsor. They can be my sponsor, but yeah, man, get you a Bubba. The brand is called Bubba. It's basically a thermal, and when I tell you it keeps it cold, I done had this, this thing full of water the whole day, and it's cold. You see how big it is? I done had it the whole day. And man, I tell you, it's a lifesaver. Yesterday I went out without some water. I had maybe, I had like a little bit, you know, from like the day before, I forgot to refill it because I was in a rush. Never again, man. I got so thirsty. And uh, one thing about this job, you're gonna be out in the field, you need to have some water because you're gonna get thirsty. And ain't nothing worse than being thirsty in the field and can't drink nothing. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to keep posting, man. Hopefully, y'all keep joining me for this journey as a field technician. It's starting to get easier and easier every day. I can't wait to get to the, you know, get where I don't got to ask nobody nothing. I can just go and do it. But it's still a learning process. It is a learning curve. Just keep that in mind when you get in the job and when you're applying to become a field technician. It's been your boy, Chance Cannon, and I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace.